guests and welcome to my channel. today's video I'm going to be making some Dollar Tree DIYs and I love how all these projects turn out and they're really easy and simple to make but have a really high end looking so guys I really hope that you like and enjoy today's video and if you do please a big thumbs up that really helps to support my channel and make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I upload a new video remember to follow me on all my social medias and my webpage jessomai.com and my new YouTube channel because yesterday I post a new video on my YouTube channel just on my home so you can go and check the new video I promise you it's amazing so I'm going to be leaving you the link in the description box so you can go and watch that video after this one because I know that you're going to love it so yeah let's get started with these DIYs okay guys for the first project i will be using this package of these doll tree dessert glasses this package brings three and i will be using all of them for my project and i want to give them a new look so i will be using some rope mine is from walmart and i really love the color it has um but you can also use maybe yut cord or some doll tree nautical rope if you wish what I did was to glue the rope with hot glue to the bottom of this dessert glass and then I'm going to start turning the whole piece. You don't have to glue all the rope in each turn with hot glue, only when you start gluing the rope and then at the end and maybe you can add a little bit in the middle just for extra secure. Once you're done and you like how it looks, um, you can cut the end of the rope and then glue it with hot glue again. As you can see, this rope has like many pieces that stick out. So with scissors, you can cut that and that way your piece is going to look like clean and much better. Once you're done with that, you're going to have a big mess in your work area so you can clean everything with this mini ladybug vacuum that I just love and I'm going to be leaving you the link in the description box of my Amazon favorites. Okay, the first vase is ready so you can do the same with the other two dessert glasses. Just roll and glue the rope until they are completely covered and it is very easy to do and takes no time at all. Once you finish, you can place flowers inside or maybe stems or fall leaves. And I put this greenery to each vase and that will be it. Guys, you can use these vases all year round and they look amazing. And I think it's very difficult to get cute small vases like this that are made from rope. So you can make your own vases with this budget-friendly idea and it turned out amazing. For the next project, I will be using this 3D wreath form from Dollar Tree and it has about four rings, but I will separate them to use only one. This ring is very, very thin, so I'm going to be using the same rope and I'm going to glue it on the end and then I'm going to start like wrapping it around until it's completely covered. Depending on the rope that you use, you will have the width of your wreath. You can use some U-twine or a nautical rope from Dollar Tree or like a macrame rope that maybe you have at home, then that is going to work as well. Thank you. 
Once you finish covering all your wreath in rope, you can cut the end and glue it with hot glue to your wreath. Once you have this part ready, you can decorate your wreath as, as you want. You can use maybe spikes like this and you can cover your wreath or you can maybe place only two in opposite directions. And then I place two pieces, like two greenery branches, also one on each side with hot glue. First, I place two deer antlers, um, but then I decide to remove them and I just leave only these cotton balls. Um, these cotton balls are from Hobby Lobby from last year, but you can also get cotton balls at Dollar Tree and, and they have them at stores right now for fall. Once I finish decorating my wreath, this is how it will look and I really love it. I think it's perfect for fall and maybe for Christmas because of the cotton balls and the neutral colors. And I place mine in this small ladder and I really love how it looks. This 3D wreath form package comes with four wreaths so you can make another three for only $1. This next idea is extremely simple and easy to do. These Dollar Tree high cloche dome are beautiful, but I don't love that plastic base. I think it looks a little bit cheap um, in that brown color. Um, so I'm going to give it a high end looking and I'm just going to use some spray paint in white color and I'm going to paint the base. Once it dried, this is how it will look. And I give it only one coat, but with two coats, I think it will be much better. And then you can put whatever you want inside. Um, you maybe can put a pumpkin for fall or a mini Christmas tree. Um, just to make it neutral, I'm going to be putting these three pieces of greenery and then I'm going to add a cotton ball on it. And then I'm going to put the lid on it and that will be it. Sometimes with a little paint and some cute details, you can change something from meh to something beautiful with a high-end looking. For the last project, I'm going to be using these plastic Dollar Tree chains um, from the Halloween section that I just love. I always buy several of these to make many projects. And the first thing I did was to strain it to have two pieces in each part of the chains that I'm going to be using are going to have six links long. I hope that makes sense and you can see what I'm doing. I know that these chains are already black, but they have like a distressed look in silver color. So I'm going to be using some spray paint and I'm going to paint all black and make it look much better. I want to make a hanging shelf. So for the base, I will be using a 12 inch piece of this wood that I just have at home. And the first thing I did was to, to give it some color using my Werbly wax in antique color. As I always say, you can use maybe paint of any color or maybe stain if you want. I just prefer not to use stains because of the strong smell they have, but that's me. You can use any color or painting technique that you like the best. Once the paint is dry, I'm going to be using these screw hooks and I paint them black with the same spray paint. And I'm going to be using two of these screw hooks and I'm going to put one at each end of the wooden board.
of those hooks I'm going to be putting the chains to be able to hang the shelf. It's super easy. Then in order to hang our shelf on the wall, I'm going to be placing another screw hooks on the wall just to be able to hang the other end of the chains and basically just be able to hang the shelf. I know that these chains are made of plastic, but they are quite strong and you can actually hold some weight on it. So I decided to um, hang it on the wall and put this glass vase and some leaves inside and then these beads garland just to decorate it and I really love it. It has this industrial look that I love and it was easy and budget friendly to make and I had so much fun making this project and I hope that you like and enjoy and have fun in today's video guys and please if you do give me a big thumbs up that really helps to support my channel and let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite make sure that you are subscribed that you hit the bell and that you share this video with friends and family thank you so much for all the love and support and remember to follow me on all my social media pages my web page jessomai.com and my new youtube channel i post a new video so check that out the link is going to be in the description box and see you on my next video. Bye guys!